Thank you. Mr. Speaker, today I rise in support of H.R. 4635, the Peer-to-Peer -peer Counseling Act. Uh, currently, women veterans represent over 9 percent uh, of our nation's veterans, uh, and that number is expected to increase to 15 percent by the year 2030. As more women veterans utilize VA health care, it is critical for the VA to update and improve services for women veterans. One area that warrants our particular attention uh, for improved services uh, is, the v is VA mental health counseling services uh, for women veterans. An alarming statistic from VA's 2016 suicide data report noted that, quote, the risk of suicide was 2.4 times higher among female veterans when compared with their uh, civilian uh, adult, um, uh, when compared uh, with civilian adult females, and it also noted rates of suicide increase more among women than men in the same study. Unfortunately, many women veterans have experienced sexual trauma and PTSD while serving in the military. Some women veterans are suffering from other mental health conditions from multiple combat tours of duty and are, and are at risk of suicide and becoming homeless. The Peer-to-Peer -peer Counseling Act addresses these issues by requiring the Secretary of the VA to ensure a sufficient number of volunteer peer support counselors are available to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer counseling and assist women veterans with gender-specific care and services. H.R. 4635 will increase access to vital mental health opportunities within the VA for women veterans. I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting the Peer-to-Peer -peer Counseling Act to better serve the growing women veteran population. I, I urge my colleagues to join me uh, in supporting H.R. 4635 to better meet the needs of the women and uh, better meet the needs of the program and provide needed services to many more veterans. Thank you. And I'd like to mention uh, one other uh, bill that, that had just uh, uh, passed the House, uh, 2147, H.R. 2147, the Veterans Treatment Court Improvement Act, that builds upon a very successful program that uh, essentially provides uh, VA liaisons or uh, veteran justice outreach uh, program officers within these veteran treatment courts that, are, that facilitate uh, VA services, whether drug and alcohol, mental health, or other services, to veterans who would otherwise be incarcerated but have, have fallen into the criminal justice system, often related to their military service. Uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and other mental health disorders where they have problems adjusting from, from military life to civilian life. And so uh, what this program does is by providing rehabilitative services in the court uh, for our veterans uh, in support, with the VA in support keeps these veterans uh, in, in a very successful rate, I think, uh, in the 18th Judicial District, in my congressional uh, district, the Veterans uh, uh, Court uh, has a 73 percent success rate in keeping these veterans uh, out of the criminal justice system by providing uh, VA re rehabilitative services for them. I think an expansion of this program is so important, and uh, I thank my colleagues for having passed uh, this bill unanimously. Uh, just previously today. Um, Ms. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time.